Hello, bonjour. My name is Colbertine, the host of the Colbertine Report, your monthly news with a French flavor. Welcome, nation. Happy to have you on the Colbertine Report. What's really worth talking about in the U.S. and the rest of the world this month? I promise you bodacious comments. Remember, if the Colbertine Report doesn't make you smarter, it will not make you stupider. Thank you, thank you, merci. Please take a seat. This month's report is dedicated to John Stewart, who left Comedy Central for his retreat in New Jersey. John, here's to you the serenity prayer you needed. May you find the serenity to accept the things you cannot change, the courage to change the things you can, and the wisdom to know the difference. You did your part to expose the political clowns. Unfortunately, they are still out there, front and center. I wish you could run for president or vice president with Biden. What do you say? Look, he wants you. Joe and John, that would be a great ticket. Let's see the pros and cons. What would work for him? He's handsome. He has a great smile. Essential attribute for U.S. presidents. He has experience. 36 years as Delaware senator, and he ran for president in 1988 and 2007, but didn't win the nomination. He has supporters begging for him to enter the race and challenge Hillary Clinton. What about his age? He's 72. Donald Trump, 69. Hillary Clinton, 67. Bernie Sanders, 73. Older usually means wiser, right? Well, not really. Joe Biden is a master gaffer and he has a foul mouth. Example, I promise you, the president has a big stick. When the health care reform passed during the very ceremonial announcement, he said, this is a big fucking deal. When speaking at an African leadership summit, he referred to Africa as a country, not a continent. Oops. He's also a public hugger and kisser caught groping women during public announcements. To summarize, Joe, keep eating ice cream, relax, and stay out of the 2016 presidential race. It is messy enough as it is. Moving on, what's the big story in the rest of the world? Is it the huge Greek debt? The North Korean nonsense? ISIS? Iran? Syria? No, none of this. What tops all the world rumor this month and surpasses all news is the comedy of American politics. Even Fox News cannot keep up with the GOP ridicule. The growing laughter and skepticism about the 2016 U.S. candidates is what makes my rest of the world story this month. When a country claims to be the leader of the free world, the top model of democracy, Shouldn't this country show the beauty of democracy in action? People voices, brilliant ideas, quality debates, involvement of the youth, high percentages of voters, regulation of media time, limitations of funds given to candidates by powerful industries. Instead, we have a plethora of ambitious politicians polluting the air with their bad ideas and idiotic behavior. A wall between the US and Mexico? Trump's idea. A wall between the U.S. and Canada? Walker's ID. Imagine if Europe had solved its problems with neighbors by building walls instead of working together and discuss. There is also the American dynasties issue. You can only run for two terms or four years? Not a problem. The sons, the spouses, will run too. This current mess is offering a terrible spectacle to the rest of the world. And I bet that many world leaders are watching and laughing. Moving on, le mot, pennies, an imperial system. This month, le mot is addressed to all wannabe 2016 U.S. president. One of you will win the presidency, so please get rid of the pennies. They are a penny in the neck, and they cost more to produce than they are worth. And also get rid of the antiquated imperial measuring system. Adopt the metric system, for God's sakes. Of all the countries in the world, only three backwaters still use the archaic imperial system of weights and measures. Liberia, Myanmar, aka Burma, and United States of America. Think about all the kids who have to navigate both systems and get disgruntled with math because of the cups, the inches, 
feet and yards. Canada did both reforms, eh? And look how happy they are now. Do you really want the US to be left behind with Liberia and Myanmar? What the fur? It's over already? Yes, it is. I wish you a great time until next month. And remember, if the Colbertine report doesn't make you smarter, it will not make you stupider. <laughs>